Welcome guys to another video for Resident Evil 4. I've done my platinum vids, but now I'm just doing a few misc ones. This will be the first, there's going to be just a exclusively no healing playthrough. So just a bit of preparation to begin with. Just load up your last safe game at the final merchant. And um, sell everything, so obviously you see how much money you've got. And you want to make sure you've got the infinite rocket launcher on you. You want to make sure you've got the infinite primal knife so it's got infinite durability and um, you want to make sure the pri the fighting knife is fully upgraded and um, you want to make sure you've bought the black attach case from Gary that way you'll get more drops for resource large and with them you can craft more flash grenades as you go through flash grenades just help on certain sections where the rocket launcher might be a bit tricky and that's sort of what your inventory should look like at the end of it. So yeah, we're going to go for no healing. And we're also just going to lob in a bonus requirement along the way without using the merchant. So you want to make sure you've got the body armor as well. So body armor, infinite launcher guys, the primal knife and the fighting knife fully upgraded. And then get through the game, get to the end again like so. Just a quick cut there just to show you. And uh, make a final cleared save guys with all that in your inventory. If you're not bothering about doing No Merchant, then don't worry. You can just do all this at the start of the game. But if you want to do No Merchant, yeah, you'll have to reload a save before you complete and just complete it again. So the accessories you want for this, you want to use the chicken head. Yeah, forget about cat ears. You've got infinite launcher. It's already infinite. Yeah, you want to use the chicken head. So um, unlock that if you have not already. Chicken egg, it, it reduces incoming damage. So it really helps with doing no healing. Along with the body armor, even if you do get hit, you hopefully shouldn't take much damage. And obviously, Ashley wants her armor on, so she can't be picked up. And then once you're ready, guys, new game. Obviously, make sure they are wearing them items. Yep, new game and assisted. So this doesn't take very long at all. I mean, I think I'll clock in the actual play time for the run. It's two hours, four minutes. I know the video's a bit longer. All these videos just seem to be a bit longer despite the um, actual in-game time being a little bit shorter. So yeah, just going through it guys. Like I say, rocket launcher, no healing. I think no healing in this is actually quite difficult no matter what you do. And this is a way to make it as easy as possible by basically having infinite launcher, chicken head, body armor, and obviously New Game Plus. Yeah, but I think this is the easiest you can make it. Combining no healing with any other type playthrough can be a bit difficult. I mean, on my Platinum, the best spot we do it is the very first playthrough. But obviously that's not ideal for a lot of people. But yeah, obviously you don't really, really want to be doing it on Professional. You don't really want to be doing it on um, Pistol only. Anyone home? You need to do no healing really with the infinite rocket launcher to make it as easy as you can guys. So yeah we've begun, we're just doing the usual stuff, going through Hunter's Lodge, grabbing the key, going into the basement, spawning the guy of the broken neck, L letting him lunge three times and then running past him. But you got a rocket launcher, you can actually just kill him for once. Yeah, this is, I'm doing no merchant just because why not. So this is a good place to get that out of the way as well, guys, if you want to. But if not, if you just plan to do frugalist, you know, no healing, and you've already done no merchant. When you jump out of the house, if you turn around, the merchant is there waiting for you. Yeah, turn around, and there she is. There she's Gary, waiting for you, save you some wares. Yep, just in case. But yeah, once you're ready, guys, crack on. Yep, yeah, I was actually quite looking forward to running through this rocket launcher, actually. All my runs so far, but I've never used it. This is the first time I'm using it, and yeah, I was looking forward to just running through, blasting everything to smithereens. So yeah, your attached case, if you haven't already, make sure you've got a black attached case equipped. Like I said, it makes it so you drop more resource large. And um, obviously you've got your charms as well. If you're playing on from your very first assisted playthrough we did, where we did the shooting range. 
And as you can see, along the way, any gunpowder I get or resource large, I'm just going to craft flash grenades. They'll come in useful for sections like the Navista doors, where it's difficult to hit the enemies with a rocket launcher. You can just lob flash grenades. You'll see when we get there, actually. There's like 20 or 30 Navista doors just stunned on the floor, and you're just running between them all. It's quite funny, actually. Because flash grenades seem to stun them for like... Um, it's about 40 seconds or so. They seem to be stunned. And But coming through the village for the rocket launcher, you can actually shoot the belt in the distance, and it ends this part early. Yeah, if you look in the distance, there's a bell. Um, you might want to get a better vantage point to begin with by coming on this roof off this little house with a shotgun. Yeah, come on the balcony on the side here. And, yeah, you see the little... Um, that's actually a bell. That's a bell tower. There you go. Shoot it and you'll hear the bell start ringing. And that will end this sequence early. Huh? You can also shoot that with a sniper rifle. You can't do it with a pistol, or I guess nobody's managed yet, because it's too far out of range, and um, your pistol bullets drop off, fortunately. So you can only really do it in New Game Plus with a sniper or the rocket. So you're pretty much just going to sprint through everywhere. Time is not the problem here. We're just sprinting through it all. No need to um, farm anything or collect anything. Just sprinting through. Yep, I'm just shooting there to smash a padlock on that door from inside. Yep, stealth pretty much goes out the window in this playthrough. Anything stupid enough to um, try to fight you, you know what to do. Shoot the rocket, aim at the groin and fire. You do not want these guys breeding. Yeah, it will damage you, so just be careful. Yeah, what a numpty. Already damaged myself. First time I got damaged, I damaged myself. Yeah, so just be careful, Rocket Launcher. It will damage you if you um if you're too close to a blast, unlike the um number two and three remakes where it can't damage you, it can in this. Don't know why they changed that up. Yep, yeah, that's what I've said in previous playthroughs. If you push out at the wrong time, or there's anybody chasing you, they can't attack you while you're pushing it, but if their attack lands just as you let go, it will hit you. Like so. This is what I'm saying, no healing can be quite difficult on this. You'll see we fly th we fly through some of these chapters. I think literally like the first few chapters take like five or six minutes each. The longest one probably being chapter three because of that stupid Del Lago fight. Which you can't really speed up, unless you're really accurate for your harpoons. But yeah, but I'll be doing one more playthrough after this, assisted, 100% S+. And that'll pretty much be it, guys. Back onto The Witcher 3, I think. No idea what I'm doing after that. I haven't quite thought that far ahead yet. I have been thinking about doing some other playthroughs for this, mainly professional, no, no bonus weapons and um, oh yep, yeah, and uh, try and do platinum in two playthroughs, but I'm not sure. Platinum in two playthroughs, it is possible, but it's gonna, it'll be mega, mega hard to do, and I just, I'm not sure it's worth a hassle. It's gonna be, nobody's gonna be able to follow it because it's gonna require a crazy amount of experience to pull it off without you know lots of stress it basically the professional run would be the same as we've done here on well sorry on my platinum walkthrough but the first playthrough would literally be a hundred percent assisted no healing pistol only no merchant yeah so you can imagine all that on a new game playthrough it would be pretty bonkers. Shit. So it's not something which is going to be easy to follow. So 
outside of a ch sort of challenge run or showing off, I don't think I'm going to be doing it. So through here, obviously you've, you've lost your weapons for the time being. So you're just going to push forward. This guy, he will run into that bear trap if you lure him into it. Like so. Bait him into your trap. Thing is, he actually put that bear trap there. Yep, so um, take your stuff back once you get here, guys. Head outside. Remember, if you do a no merchant, then just completely ignore Gary. Let's do some business. Yeah, give him a rocket launch if you want as you walk past. Just shoot him. Hell am I? Yeah, just head into Dynamite Valley. I'm not collecting any. I don't think I'll bother collecting the small keys. No, I don't need any money. I'm pretty much just trying to get through this as soon as possible. So um, we're just going to grab the emblem, turn the valve, and jump through the door. Or maybe in a different order. This is cool though, right? Just rocket launching everything. If you can hit them. Yep, so I'm doing the valve first. I don't know why I'm getting the treasure. No need. Yeah, I think that's just habit. Yeah, habit. I think every time I come through here, I've always got the ruby. No matter what the requirements for my playthrough, I've always got the ruby. I think it's just a they're so sparkly, can't help it. Yeah, turn the valve, she's gonna grab the emblem next guys and then head up to the mansion. Kill a chainsaw guy on the way up there for once. Don't think I've killed him yet. Yep, don't shoot when you're too close. <laughs> I've still not learned my lesson. I like to learn things very slowly. Yeah, in the mansion. I'm just going to sprint to the back, guys, to get the um, crystal marble. So the code is Leaf, Piggy, and um, the Baby. Yeah, Baby. Got this guy waiting around the corner for a broken neck. You can just put him back on his ass. There's a guy in the toilet as well. 
You can open the door and just shoot a rocket up his ass if you want while he's got his pants down. But once you're done, come up here, guys, and um, rotate the crystal marble. I normally rotate it upwards and then to the left, and then just spin it around. And that lines it up. And then grab the insignia key, guys, and that will be chapter three. So chapter three, we are heading over to um, Del Lago now. Yeah, so back here. If you do it this way, just be careful of the trip white in the house. I run straight into it like a complete noob. Yep, I actually missed a padlock as well with the rocket launcher. Oh, I didn't run into it. That was probably another playthrough. I ran straight into that one time. Yeah, but if you're trying to um, go through that house. Just make sure you do shoot the padlock before the cutscene starts, otherwise them dogs are going to um, appear and bite you as you try to get through the doorway. So I'm just ignoring Gary again, no merchant. To be honest, the easiest way to do no healing is we're following this same way, using the infinite rocket launcher, having the chicken hat, having the body armour. And having Ashi's armor, but you would also be talking to the merchant, and um, you would be repairing your armor whenever it gets a bit damaged. That would be the easiest way to do this. Um, but you'll see, unassisted, your armor it go it lasts for quite a long time. I mean, I've been hit a few times, and my armor still probably got like over seventy-five percent health left. So the quarry, you can just sprint straight through the quarry. If you remember from my previous playthroughs, if you follow them. There's no need to kill anybody here. The timing and with the pace you should be going at. You can pretty much just uh, sprint past everybody before you get a chance to attack. That guy will sometimes lob a Molotov at you. That guy will lob a hatchet at you. Um, so I killed that guy. But you'll see, shooting my weapon early, it actually aggroed the enemies early. So for this bit, it's really best not to shoot your weapon at all, guys. And just sprint past. You see, if you do shoot your weapon, it aggroes the enemies a little bit earlier. And they can get a bit close to hitting you. So the way to get through that easier is to not fire a weapon. So you don't aggro the enemies too early. And the bit at the end on the catwalk, you jump off the catwalk right in the corner. And it makes it so the two enemies at the end do not spawn. Here, you want to make sure you kill these dogs. Because they will catch up to you if you try to run past most of the time if you're lucky you can actually run past them without getting damaged but um like i say it's all about luck so i'm um, just remove that and just kill him yes two dogs there one's normally straight ahead the other one's roaming to the left just make sure you kill him before you um run out into the open into the fish farm fish farm you can normally as long as you don't fire your weapon you can run straight through it pretty much and avoid damage as long as you're quick. So you can do the same thing here. No need to stop and shoot everything. Unless of course you just want to make sure you don't get damaged. But you shouldn't do as long as you run straight through it at the pace I do. And you can just kill enemies on your way back. But sometimes when you try to leave the cabin where you find the boat fuel. There might be one or two guys waiting for you at the door. Yep, so as you can see, you can just sprint past all these. Just remember to do um, disarm the tripwire. You can kill that guy, I guess, if you want. I'm just going to kill them as he tries to jump off. 
Yeah, smash padlock, grab the jerry can. That's it, put that in your pocket. And then go to the boat, guys. Put in the fuel and beat Del Lago. Yep, kill the crossbow guy. You don't want him to be shooting a bolt at you as you um, jump down here. You can do so. I've been shot as I've jumped in midair before. It can happen. Yeah, they've all um, aggroed a little bit early. Yeah, if you go through there without shooting anything, they're slower. And you can normally run past before they actually attack. But you saw them last few enemies did attack me. That's just basically because um, I aggro them a little bit earlier just from the sound of my weapon. You'll find when you fire your weapon, it does aggro enemies a bit sooner. That's why in a lot of my um, previous playthroughs, where I'm trying to be quiet and stealthy, I try not to fire any weapons at all. Or you fire out of range. Yeah, because even though the enemies don't see you, hearing your weapon, it just changes how they react when you get close to them. So just fighting this guy now. I'm not going to miss killing this guy at all. I think he's worse in this than the than the original. Yes, yeah, so I don't remember it being this bad. It can just go on for ages if you don't kill it quick enough. Especially on professional, it's a nightmare on professional. It can take like five minutes. He seems to always take the same course though. You know, it doesn't seem to be random. I mean, this very first path he takes before he dives for the first time is always the same. And I got him. Not too bad. Okay, chapter 3 done. Because you're on New Game Plus, you will only get a S rank here. Even if you do it under 4 hours, yes, only an S rank. S plus ranks are exclusive to New Game, as you know. I don't think they're in a new game. I don't think there is an S rank. I just mean I think you automatically get an S plus instead of an S, and then from S plus it drops straight to A if you do it in um, under the time limit. So yeah, I don't know why I'm crafting that. I'm not going to be healing. I guess it's just so you can sell it much later if you decide to do another playthrough after this. So you got a bit of money at the end. So I'm just killing that um, last Plagos enemy. Trying to run past him, he can he can damage you. So now you've got rocket launcher. Yeah, just kill him. What is this place? Some kind of shrine. It's the lake. Just make sure you interact with that mural, guys, to update the objective. No need to collect anything else. All we want to get now is the two heads. The apostate's head and the blasphemous head. So we're going to go left first and then um, dock at this cave. Yeah, well, I was shooting up there because there's that dynamite guy. He's a pain in the backside. Yeah, so code here, guys, is number two. 
Number five and number eight. I had to think for a second there. Yeah, number two, number five, and number eight. Obviously, assuming the top one is number one, and you go around in a clockwise manner, and there's eight buttons. Two, five, and eight. Drop down here. There's a yellow herb behind you, but um, don't need it. Even if you use the yellow herb, that will still void the no healing achievement. And if you do want to check up check up on this achievement, we're on PlayStation. It's all about trophies. Yeah, if you do want to keep an eye on it, if you go into your challenges tab, you can highlight the um, challenge for not healing. I think it's it called Frugalist. Yeah, and that'll show you how many times you've it healed. Just in case you think you may have by mistake. Yeah, look at that and that'll just confirm if you have or not. You obviously want it at zero in order to pop this trophy. And now we're heading to the far northeast cave to get a final head. So code for this one guys is number four. No, that's wrong. Yeah, number four, number six, and number seven. I know the solution in my head, just watch me put it in then. Yeah, I put it wrong by mistake. Yeah, number four, number six, and number seven. And once you've got the head, no need to climb a ladder. Just turn around and get straight back in your boat. We've got the two heads, now we need to head back to the um mural from earlier. Place the two heads and pick up the church insignia key. Place the apostate's head and blasphemous head. Or the other way around, whatever you prefer, guys. And pick up the church insignia. You should get a little telephone call from, um, bloody hell, I forget her name now. Is it Mary? No, I completely forgot her name. Oh, it's Hunnigan, isn't it? Yeah, so back in your boat. And then let's go and kill the El Gigante in a single hit. Ouch, yep. Don't do that. Luckily the car, the boat can't be damaged at this part. Otherwise would have capsized it by now. Yeah, so straight up to the El Gigante. And then push on to the church. I don't think I saved the game until right at the end just because there's no need. On the sister, he's got auto saves. Yep, just pull out your rocket launcher, guys, and um, let rip. There you go. You'll not stand a chance. Okay, let's get to that church. Yep, they're no longer a giant pain in the ass. That's Leon says later on. Yeah, he didn't have this many one-liners in the original, did he? I don't remember. He's, he comes out with a lot of one-liners in this. I don't remember that many in the original. So yeah, try and hit the wolf. That would help. And kill it. Ashley Graham. We are here, don't worry. But she can't wait to see me. Hello, me. It's me. In the chicken head. Ashley Graham. Ashley Graham. I'm a chicken. Come to rescue you. Yeah, pick up the blue dial. Place it on the um, altar. You need to turn the blue dial two and a half times in any direction. The green one 1.25 times clockwise 
basically one and a quarter and the red one needs to be turned one and a quarter times anti-clockwise now complete the puzzle Ashley, you in there? Hey Ashley, yeah, President sent a chicken to rescue you. There you go, another quick one. So, um, chapter five next. So we've got a cabin, we're, yeah, we've got a cabin at the end of this one. But be very quick with the rocket launcher. All right. And um, we've got the armor, so pretty much just sprint through the areas with Ashley. Yep, no need to remain quiet. I think most of the time in this little sequence, I've always avoided the enemies to begin with, basically in stealth, by um, stealth killing the first woman and hiding behind the rock and waiting for the guys to um, attend their mass, Sunday mass. Is it Sunday? I'm not sure what day it is, but... Yeah, but I normally let them go into the church and... Um, and then I sprint down here with Ashley and just sprint past everybody. The good thing is though, I think because you're wearing the chicken head, the enemies have to look twice and it just gives you a little bit of time to get past them before they start to attack. Yeah, they just have to make sure they are seeing what they're seeing. A chicken carrying a rocket launcher. It's not something you see every day. So yeah, I'm just going to blast him to bits. Not going to kill anybody else. I'm just going to sprint to the end. Back to the farm, guys, and straight into the cabin, I believe. You'll see me break of the odd breakable. Yeah, if Ashley does get grabbed, do not move on into the next area until s sort of she's been dropped. And um, the prompt, not the prompt, but the icon has appeared back in the corner that she's following you. Yeah, just make sure you don't run away too far if that prompt, that icon is not there. Otherwise, the game may count. It may look at her as being taken away, even though she's technically not. And um, you might get game over. It's not, I mean, it's not a problem. You'll just reload it. You've got auto saves. Yeah, so just wait before you run on for the icon to appear. There it is. And then just sprint on along the end. So cabin, yeah, just pretty much just blast your rocket launcher out the windows constantly. I don't know why Louis trying to give you ammo. Do I look like I need ammo, Louis? I've got an infinite rocket launcher in my hand. And I've got a chicken head on. Need I say more? Yeah, but I'm looting all this stuff. I don't quite know why. Again, probably just habit. Yeah, you can either kill so many enemies or board up all three windows and that'll start this next section when they bring the ladders along. Shame it, it doesn't let you um, destroy the ladders with a grenade or something. That would make sense. That's it, Louis. You just hold back, mate. Find a chair, mate, and just sit in the corner and put your feet up. Oh, I've got this. Oh, yeah, watch the guy that comes down the chimney.
Yeah, if you leave some mince pies by a chimney, it might distract her for a moment, allowing you to get a hit in. Pig guy will eventually come in. Yeah, don't do that. I did quite a bit of damage to my armor. Yeah, once pig guy comes in, guys, just blast him. Quickly grab the emerald if you're quick enough. And that's it. There we go, job done. The chicken hen has beaten them. Let's go. What? Roll on chapter six. Yeah, get through these pretty quickly. Yeah, so I see I'm finally crafting some flash grenades. Yeah, if you get any extra resource large or gunpowder, yeah, just craft your flash grenades with them. You'll see I kept all my gunpowder. I kept all that over from um, my previous playthrough. I say the the, um, the flash grenades will just come in useful on bits where the rocket launcher can be a little bit tricky to use. Mainly where you got when you're in a big open area and you've got... Um, Navista doors flying about can be good for them. Yeah, they will likely call reinforcements if they see you. I think they call like I think calls like an additional five enemies, and one of them will be a pig. I think the pig head, the pig helmet works similar to the chicken hat. It's basically the enemy's equivalent of the chicken hat, the pig hat, and it reduces the damage they take. Luckily, they don't have cat ears, not that I've seen anyway. See, so yeah, I'm just sprinting past that cabin on the left, which I normally, I normally loot the chalice of atonement from in there. But obviously, no need to do so. You just sprint to the end, sure go to the Bella Sisters, kill them, grab the crank and the sapphire, and then go to the do doorway, guys, and use the crank to open it. Yes, yeah, so you get through that door, but you need to shoot the padlock off. But you need to be able to shoot the padlock on the far side of it in order to do it. Um, if you look there, you can normally stand close to the fence and look through with a pistol. But well, so I don't have a pistol on me, so I'm just trying to get a, a rocket through the gap. There we go, and destroy the padlock from inside. And then come in here, guys. Interact with this, shoot them afterwards with a rocket. Or miss. There you go, grab the crank, sapphire, now just head to the door. If you get there quick, the enemies shouldn't really chase you down quick enough before you get a chance to open the door. So it's not like you have to kill everybody here. You can open the door if you're quick enough. I think it's just unprofessional where I try to kill everybody here. Because it's unprofessional they can catch up to you really, really quickly. Are you hurt? But I have done it before where I just lobbed a flash grenade and then I opened the door on pro. That seemed to work. Did well back there. But obviously if you kill everybody, Seems you've got no danger at all. Creeps. I can't tell if that's meant to be your Yeah, is this Chicken Edge? Is this some sort of throwback to Metal Gear Solid or something? Is it Metal Gear Solid 5, you know, with the chicken hat? It's nice though that they give you all these different accessories to wear and they all give you different bonuses. I hope they keep doing this in um, future Resident Evil games. 
Just opens up a little bit more, a little bit of variety, doesn't it? So you don't need to get out of flash grenade. I don't know why I ran in there. Just ignore it. Once you've escaped, all you need to do is carry on into the um, the Mendes spawn and fight him with a rocket launcher. Him Kill him pretty quickly. That barrel has loads job. of items inside. Four items inside that barrel. That's why I always try to loot it. Be careful. There was a lot. There is a lot of skips to um, skip this fight completely, um, but I've never done them. If you're going to skip the fight, you may as well just use cheese, ain't you? To make the boss bas make the boss die in one hit from cheese, or make yourself invincible. And you can't really get worse than skipping the boss fight completely, can you? Basically, removing him from the game. Yeah, so that's a village done, guys. How long's it took us? Um, 40 minutes. Not too bad. So much. It's so much quicker. When you sprinted through collecting nothing and just using the rocket launcher to remove any obstacles in your path. All right, Ashley. And I guess you're not spending time in the in Gary's shop menu either. That eats a bit of time. Keep going to the inventory all the time and selling stuff. Yeah, I won't tell you again, Ashley. One warning only. Don't watch you don't take me seriously. How dare he point at me? Oh, he got deleted, that guy at the bottom. He just seems to have evaporated. Yeah, you can shoot that from down here. I think a lot of speedrunners do that. I don't do it normally. I'm just showing you that you can do it there. I don't normally do it just because when you spawn the cannon, it spawns additional enemies. So I like to normally spawn them at the last moment when I'm literally at the top of the cannon ready. And they can mount the cannon straight away, shoot the door. And um, the bridge, not a bridge, but the top of the wall, it actually bottlenecks all the enemies to you as well. Makes it easier to kill them all with the cannon. Yeah, I'm still shooting some of these red barrels because um, they can just come out of nowhere and deal a lot of damage to you. So going through this section, you might still want to destroy some of the red barrels. Yeah, just checking the rocket launcher to destroy the door. It can't. Apparently a massive stone does more damage than a... An explosive rocket. And there we go, in the castle. One enemy will spawn behind you, don't forget, after this cutscene. Yep, yeah, the little dirty one trying to flank here. That's it. Just let rip. Destroy everything. Yeah, don't forget the guy behind you. There she is. Sneaky bastard. Give her a boost up and she'll open the door for you.
So the um, Garador it should be able to kill him quite early. Just make sure you're not too close to him. And yeah, just lob a rocket at him. Loot him if you want fully red barrel. Looks like I am just having none of that. I don't care. My plan is to get through the game as quick as possible. The shorter time I can wear a chicken head, the better. Yep, it's me. The chicken. <laughs> chicken chicken Kennedy. You okay? I'm fine. Well, for now. So I'm sure you know how to do this puzzle by now. You take all three swords, take the rusted sword, then the iron sword, then the golden sword. You can do this with the rocket launcher. I came here and I was like. Oh no, what am I going to do? Yeah, you need to shoot the stag, the eagle and the snake. Not the seahorse. I think I just couldn't help shooting it because I really like seahorses. But yeah, not the seahorse. You want to shoot the eagle and the snake. They're the ones. And the stag. The problem with rocket launcher is it hits, it hits many of them at once. But if you shoot the stag and then sort of shoot in between them two, it should be okay. And then you want to pick up the bloody sword. And um, on the first picture, place the iron sword. Second picture, place the golden. Third one, it's the bloody sword. And the fourth one is the rusted sword. Yeah, so shoot the stag, uh, sorry not the stag, the seahorse and the snake is on the opposite side. You saw me shoot a rocket, you can't actually see it, but you should be able to shoot a rocket and the explosion should damage it. And uh, ring the bell, opening the gates. And you can move on to the water hall. You can shoot them if you want, you probably don't really need to on EC. We're trying to do no healing, obviously getting rid of the crossbow enemies, it will just help in case they get a sneaky bolt in. Same with these guys down here. Yep, yeah, watch out, thanks Ash. Yeah, grab the um, halo handle. Pay the wheel, I mean. That's it. Kill anybody that's following you down, I guess. Just to reduce any damage taken later. And then place the halo wheel. Once you place it, remember a guy with a crossbow will spawn back at the top where he initially fell down. Yeah, that guy up there. You see him? Crossbow enemy up there. A few enemies will spawn at the top once you climb up the steps. There'll be a crossbow guy in that little balcony in the corner near the door he came in. Holy hey there, Wheel. He almost got me. That's lucky. I parried him with my knife. Yep, now place a hey there, Wheel and lower the, the um, steps, guys. Yep. They will try to block your rocket with a shield, but as you can see, it doesn't quite have the same effect. Well, it doesn't have any effect at all. I think that they picked up the wrong shield type, didn't they? You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. You hear that? She's fine. She's fine, the world is saved. Yeah, lift her up here. We can rest finally, she's fine. You gonna be okay? Yeah, I, I got this. 
Good to hear. I'll cover you. Don't stop. Yeah, it can be a bit tricky hit, hitting these guys with rocket launcher. But if you shoot the side of the path which they're walking along, that normally kill them. Or yeah, just fire a rocket right at the head. That does a trick also. Yeah, that's where the enemies drop down that come to fight you on the bottom. Oh, hello, shield guy. Again, trying to block a rocket for shields. Do these guys never learn? I guess at least Ashley can't be damaged by the rocket, so that's some good news. Okay, I'm not even sure if she can if she's not wearing the armour. Can the rocket damage her if she's not wearing the armour? I don't even know. Like I say, this is the first and only time I've done a run with the um, rocket launcher. Leon! Quick get away while you can. I need to find out you have to wait for her because you have to boost this up here. Okay. Right, chapter 7 done guys. Next up, chapter 8. Yeah, all I want to do guys is kill a red guy, grab a lantern from him and they can go back to where we drop down and place it on the opposite statue and open the gate. And now we've got a rock launcher, we can actually kill this giant for once. Person I thought I'd run to here. Yeah, grab all three stone tablets here and you want to place them um, on the door heads. It'll be the the red hexagon armor at the bottom, the red helmet hexagon on the left, the square blue sword on the right, and the square blue shield on the top. Sorry, no, the opposite way round. Red shield at the top, blue armor at the bottom. That should do it. Yeah, but you can't get colors. You can't get colors wrong anyway. I mean, it, it shows right. you just below them. Need to find Ashley. Yeah, just remember about this guy with the spider on his back. Oh, great. I don't. These guys just sprint ahead when they get a spider on the back, just because they're scared. I know my missus would do that if she had a spider on her back. She'd run exactly the same. Yeah, you can use rocket launcher to shoot all the um, all the counterweights for the, the gates and the drawbridges. 
Wait, no, me use a grenade. You can use a rocket launcher. She said meeting you once was enough. Yeah, I just want to make sure they're all dead. Because there's normally a spider around the corner here. Oh, and I didn't even get him. This is what I mean. Make sure you get them all. A spider come along, comes along that wall. Got a few up here. And here. Remember, there's a weight just outside there. You can shoot it and um, open that gate. And then head on through. Shoot that weight. Come on through here. Go left. Flick the lever to um, open the night gate. Go to the top and you should spawn the giant. And shoot him if you are kit and that will end him. Adios, you son of a yep, adios. No need to worry about the massive rocks coming through coming at you now. Just make your way down here, drop down. Okay, now I guess we have to worry about bolts. Yeah, come through here and switch it back to the sun, the sun setting, or daytime setting. And you just drop down, climb up the ladder, and head into the fire door. You still need to shoot the cannon, and um, raise the cannon, sorry, because you need to shoot a cannon at the fire door. Yes. Cannon. Hope it works. Yeah, you can just knife it. To the top, shoot the next counterweight. Get ready. Yep, then you need to shoot the door shoot the door guys so they can escape. The door was unlocked, by the way, so there's actually no need to do that. Sorry, I've had my fill, you guys. And once you've run the view of Ashley, Ashley, that marks the end of chapter eight. So chapter nine. Um, if you want to skip that, when we get into that room with the um, with the goat, no, not what head is it? Yeah, it's a goat head. Yeah, the room of the goat head. If you want to skip that section a little bit, make sure you've got a grenade ready. Your rocket launcher won't. No, your rocket launcher does work actually, because the enemies are already around the corner. So you can actually just shoot a rocket at the wall and that will kill him. Yeah, just they're actually hiding around the corner. You can't see them until obviously they run out to pull a lever. And normally a grenade works because um, it looks like they spawn and run in, but they're actually around the corner waiting, and they just they just actually run out when you pass forward enough. But you can just shoot a rocket at the, at the wall on the end, and it'll kill them before they even run out. So yeah, kill that dog there. If you remember on my professional run, I forgot about him, and um, what's your professional? No, it's my um, last run, my assisted run. Where we did a pistol only. Yeah, I um, I forgot about that one and it kept jumping out. So yeah, there'll be two in that, there'll be two behind that cage. Just shoot them. There'll be one which jumps through that bush. Shoot him. Shoot that one over there and this guy will jump up over the fence. Shoot him as well. Yeah, but somehow we survived that rocket. Yeah, then climb up here, guys, and pull this lever. Through here, there's going to be a dog come through this bush, and so make sure you're ready. And around the corner, it's going to be our cage with three dogs inside. Be ready to shoot them. How? See, that's just a noise you're making. Like, say, shooting some weapons, you'll aggro them early. I guess what happened then 
was the um, the blast the blast from the rocket launcher it damaged one of them a little bit and that just aggro them early so yeah you might just want to shoot a rocket around the corner before you run around the corner just so that doesn't happen to you and then get actually to operate the lever and a dog will normally run around here so just be ready to shoot him and then up here guys and pull the final lever once all the enemies spawn in, you all have to run after Ashley because she just stands there. Yeah, even though she's wearing her armor, she'll still just freeze. Fight or flight or freeze. Yeah, she chooses the latter. So you all have to chase after her. I've seen if you can if you can kill the enemies from here. But yeah, she still seems to just freeze in place. You have to run around to her to catch up. Yeah, she just stands there. You have to run around to her. Watch out for any dogs on your way back. Because dogs do spawn as well when all them enemies spawn in. I think it's three dogs that spawn. And um, any which you missed during the whole maze sequence, they might appear as well. Now you're in the grand hall. So we'll head into the dinner room first. We'll sit Ashley at the top right chair on the bottom table. And Leon's going to sit on the top left chair at the top table. So yeah, Ashley, Ashley can shoot at that one with no food. And Leon's going to no. sit at the mouldy bread. By this point, four playthroughs later, yeah, but I wouldn't touch that bread at Leon. all. Looks like we figured it out. Yeah, pick up the um, snake head. So like I say, you don't need a grenade for this. You can just shoot your rocket out of the wall. And that kill the enemies which are waiting around the corner. No, you don't need to use the hand grenade. They're waiting around the corner. You can just shoot a rocket out the wall. And it does the same thing. Yep, they're just waiting around that corner. You can just shoot a rocket out the wall and it'll kill them. Yeah, but no need to kill them. All you want to do is grab the goat head. And they can head back across. There'll be three enemies that ambush you as you come back across this. Just make sure you're ready. And you can pretty much ignore anybody else. And then you make way to the opposite side into the nighty knight room. Drop down, pick up the lion head and they kill all the knights. Yep, just shoot all the knights now. Come on, you can't be serious. Hey, are you okay? Yeah, once you've got them all, catch yeah. Ashley. Now you've got all three heads, you can go into the statue in the middle, place them all, and um, get captured. You don't think they're gonna move, do you?
Time to rescue that little damsel, Leon. So you go straight to the clock, input a time, 11.04. Yeah, there we go. 64 minutes past 10. Put that time in. And you can skip straight to the mausoleum. Down in the mausoleum, you still need to um, you need to pull all four cords. That will reveal the path ahead. And then you can squeeze through, place the sun lamp on the far pedestal. And then place the, um, the moon lamp on the left one. And then the star... No. Is that right? Yeah, you place the moon you place the sun lamp on the far one, the moon lamp on the one on the left, and the star lamp on the one on the right, and then you can get the insignia. And then just head back up to the top, open the door and then um, rescue Leon. You know what? You know Hollow Knight Silk Song. When is that going to release? How long has it been? That game. It's been in develop development for so long now. The heck? I mean, we don't want to rush it. We don't want to rush it, do we? I mean, we want it to be just as good as Hollow Knight. But surely it's got to be coming out this year. Still no release date. Oh, the pound is going to be dropping before June. We will see about that. We'll see. No, no, don't go out. Yeah. It will release one once it releases, I guess. Daymare as well. If any of you played um, Daymare, that's a sort of Resident Evil type game, survival horror. Sort of um, inspired by Resident Evil 2 Remake, I think the first one was. But yeah, the new one's supposed to be releasing this year. Daymare, uh, Daymare 1994 Sandcastle. Yeah, it's supposed to be releasing this year. I quite enjoyed the first Daymare, actually. Yeah, if you if you do like these games, guys, that's one to look into. Very similar to um, Resident Evil 2 Remake. Obviously, it's not as good as the Capcom games, but it's got its, it's, got its charm. It's good in its own sort of, um, you know, its own way. The voice acting was very cringe in it. Forget trying to remember one of the voice lines. Um, he will go to the hospital, and once I get there, I will be there. Something like that. Something really cringe. Yeah, and pretty much don't make sense. He will get there, and then I will go there, and then I will be there. Something weird like that. It's funny within the context of the game because the game's all pretty cheesy. The um, some of the um, character models are quite weird as well. And we've rescued the damsel. <laughs> Don't worry, chicken head, we'll rescue you. Yeah, so that's chapter um, chapter nine done, guys. I'm to chapter ten. Seven left to do. We get in there. So this will be the one with Vertigo inside. And we've got the ballroom to do as well. Leon. Same as ever. Same as ever. An absolute pain in the ass. Oh, let's talk about Ashley. Oh, Ada. Yes, yeah, so you don't need to do that. You can just brim past these first bunch. No need to kill him in the first place.
Yes, yeah, so you can pretty much just go through this area, guys. Just keep lobbing flashbangs. This is why you've been saving them all up for rooms like this. Wow, Ramon, you are really slacking on your pest control. Yeah, I craft a few more. Just before you do drop down after pulling that first lever, guys, make sure you do lob a flash grenade below. As you can see, there was a few waiting for me. So it's just a good idea to drop one below you before you drop down. I'd be doing the same thing here. And if you hear any flapping about, probably a good idea to lob a flash as well. Yes, yeah, so drop one down there before you drop down. Yeah, there's so quite a few there. I think it's on my assisted run where it's just when I drop down on that second one, there's literally about 10 on the floor. Yes, yeah, so this room you can pretty much just fire your rockets, fire at will. Plan is to obviously kill the Garados. But once you've got the unicorn horns, place them in the statues and open the door, guys, go in and uh, drop down into the depths. about sticking the landing. Just make sure you watch out for the flies in the water here. I'll show you where they all are. As long as you're sort of looking at the floor already, you can kill them before they get a chance to pounce on you. Yeah, that's the first one. Just make sure you're aiming at the floor ready. Then as soon as you see his eyes light up, you can shoot him. You got another one just over here. I've already got him. A bit further on, they'll find another. And there'll be one there. And there should be one more left. Just over there. There's also a fish. You might want to try to keep a fish alive. It's completely up to you. And through here. There's an elegant crown there. There's only two of them in the game. And as you know, they sell for the most. If combined with the right treasures. So you might want to grab that just as you're coming through. Just an extra elegant crown is always nice. Right, then up, head up here. So we're heading to Vertigo next, guys. Oh, give me a break. 
I think to kill him in one hit with the rocket launcher, I think you still need to freeze him. So the idea is to um, pull the lever, trigger the power, then run around the um, bit in the middle, pull the lever to um, start the nitrogen, and then sprint ahead, he'll run into the nitrogen, he'll freeze, and then you shoot him with a rocket and blow him up. And then you'll come over here guys and get in the elevator. Yeah, the reason you need to freeze him first, guys, is because if you don't, and you try to shoot him with a rocket launcher as soon as he appears, he actually just runs away, it doesn't instant kill him. To instant kill him with a rocket launcher, you have to freeze him and then shoot. Yeah, it, I'm not even sure how many shots it would take if you don't freeze him at all. I know when you shoot him the first time, if he's not frozen, he'll run away. Maybe you only have to shoot him once more, I don't know, but to kill him first time, you have to freeze him. And that's it guys, chapter 10 done. Why help me though? What's in it for you? <laughs> no need to be suspicious. I said I'd help you, didn't I? A little hard for me to put my faith in someone who used to work for Umbrella. So you heard, huh? Umbrella's done for. You don't need to worry about them anymore. You didn't answer my question. What are you after? You handle yourself pretty well. You sure you're just a researcher? I'm just an average guy. Used to be like the ladies now. Yeah, so here you can just shoot. As you can see, you don't need to get a dynamite. You can actually just shoot it straight away with a rocket launcher. Just make sure you're not too close to it, otherwise the rocks will kill you. And then um, with the El Gigante, just kill them both quickly for rocket launcher, guys. How's it look? Those things cooped up down here too. The underground here is sacred to them. See, this is where they discovered Las Plagas, preserved inside ancient deposits of ember. Of course they did. You're not suggesting we ride this thing. <clears throat> Do you? Do you see any other way? <clears throat> Give us a push, Sancho. Who are you calling Sancho? There. Yeah, so the minecart ride. Obviously, um, any damage you take here doesn't really affect your no healing. Oh, by the way, 
uh, because it's just a minecart which is getting damaged. And um, your rocket launcher can't really simplify this. You're stuck with using the infinite ammo red 9. Uh, but the enemies are always the same, no matter the difficulty, all it changes is how much damage you take. And I guess how much damage it takes to kill the enemies. I know the chainsaw guy takes longer to kill on um on professional. But I'm not sure about the, the health of the actual minecarts. So you probably know you can actually shoot the minecarts instead of shooting the enemies. Yeah, first of all, there'll be a guy on the right, if I remember. No, sorry, on the left. You have on the left to begin. And then the guy on the right, if you're quick enough. No, I was not. And then the guy on the left. Yep, and then a second guy on the left. And then there'll be some boards blocking your track. Make sure you shoot them. And then hold on tight. Yep, left turn coming up. Brace yourself, Sancho. Yeah, by the way, there was a jump there. Yep, two on the right. You can kill them with an explosive barrel. Two on the left. And then very shortly, there'll be two on your right again with a... Sorry, one on the right. And then there might be a guy on your track of head. Yep, and then one guy on the left. Yep, duck down, Sancho. Well, I might shoot you in the head by mistake. Will be the first time. Yep, and then shoot them two on the right by shooting the explosive barrel in between them. And then shoot the track switch up head to flip the track. Yep, hold on tight. There's a turn coming up. Uh, downwards turn. The track will turn down. And Louis will put on the brakes. Just in the nick of time. Talk about quitting it close, mate. That could have gone quite a lot differently. Especially if Leon was in control of the brake. I would have probably forgot to press it in. Right up here, there's three enemies here, remember? But no need to kill them all. You can kill that guy because he's blocking your path. We'll just get to the top and get in the second minecart. Yep, this is platform A, B. You're just in time for the minecart ride to the hive. Yep. It'll be departing at 0155. There we go. Right, Louis, you got the brake. I've got the rocket. Hold on tight, hold right. That's it, Louis, just gonna hold left. It's Louis' fault while we keep almost going off the track. He leans against. Rather than leaning against the turn, he leans with the turn. That makes sense. Have I got that right? Maybe. So there'll be two on the right to begin with, then you're going to have three on the left. These three on the left are perhaps the trickiest ones in the whole of the minecart ride, I think. Because you have to kill these three really, really quickly, or, or one of them will always hit you. And then after them, you've got this guy up ahead with dynamite in his hand. Be ready to shoot them boards. Yeah, if you don't recover quick enough, you'll not actually recover soon enough to hold your gun out and you'll not be able to shoot the boards here you can shoot that if you're accurate enough it's very difficult I don't think it does much I think apparently it damages the chainsaw guy so it doesn't actually really speed anything up because um, you have to wait until the track runs out anyway and takes you into the hive yeah apparently it damages the chainsaw guy he comes through here Yep, there she is. So you can either shoot him or shoot the minecart. The minecart will destroy before he does, so it's a good idea to actually shoot the minecart. But you do have to shoot him sometimes just to stop him from attacking you.
That's it. If you keep shooting the my kite, you can get a good view of his groin. If that's actually thing. Yep. Then, then when you get four on the right, shoot the first two. The two on the top don't really hit you. They never have done. Right, yeah, once you call the A-hole. Carry on a bit more, guys, and you'll head into the hive. And you go round a loop-a-loop. -loop and do, uh, you'll, yeah, you'll jump off the minecart. Yeah, just make sure you don't forget to shoot that switch to flip the track. Otherwise, you're going to go straight into that watchtower. Yeah, time to find out if chickens can fly. Yeah, you might want to shoot these just because it is a bit of a pain. If you don't shoot all these nests, the um, insects will keep spawning as you run through this whole area. So it's a good idea, whatever reason you're coming through the game, always destroy them nests. Yeah, you've got one more nest over there. Yeah, I shot this camouflage guy. Yellow herb if you want it. Just grab it as you run past. Up here, there'll be four chameleons waiting for you. I think I only shot three because one of them's on the wall on the right. And he shouldn't trigger as long as you don't go near him. There's one here. There's another one up here, but if you shoot that red bell, it should kill him. Come outside. Now, for Krauser, you have to use your knife. So, um, you might want to equip your fighting knife so you do more damage. Um, but if you want to kill him in one hit, you could actually go back to the main menu. You could equip the... Um, I think it's the deer antlers, which increase your knife damage. Yeah, if you equip them, I think you do... 50% more damage for your knife and you, you probably kill him with one hit, one hit. I was going to change it but in the end I couldn't be bothered to um, back out, change it just to um, have to quit again and put chicken head back on. Yeah, so once in the lift, wait for Louis to catch up and they can ride it upwards. Controlled by that cult? This has nothing to do with death. I'm a free man who made a choice. Yeah, if you want to avoid damage unassisted on this during the um the QTEs, you need to go into options and change the repeated button presses, you need to change it to tap, and then you need to be able to press tap when you're trying to escape. Tab is actually quicker than pressing hold. I don't know why. Yeah. So if you tap, you can get out of the QTE before it gets a chance to damage you. But if it's on hold, he'll always damage you before the QTE finishes. Just how it is. But you can see, with a fighting knife, I killed him in, I think, three hits. So with the... Um, with the deer antlers equipped as well, I think you could kill him in maybe two hits perhaps one or two uh, so chapter 12 now we need to make way to the top the top of the clock tower which is going to go straight there after going up the lift go straight to the top do the little lift sequence and then we'll kill Ramon Salazar no need to take a golden egg because we have rocket launcher you could put a, a golden egg in the end of the rocket launcher for some real damage but the normal rocket launcher should do the trick in its um, standard form. Yeah, top of the clock tower. This is a lot more manageable than the um, the remake. No, not the remake. The original version. The original version, the clock tower was a bit of a pain in the ass. If you remember, in the original you had to go down the watchtower. In here you have to go up it. But in the original you had to go down. And then um, there's always some crossbow enemies at the bottom which are quite a nuisance to get rid of. 
But it's much easier going up. No, I think, I think I've got it mixed up there. No, you had to go... You went through one tower beforehand, didn't you? Where you had to go down. And then there's another... Then the actual clock tower, you had to go up. Oh, yeah, and you still have the... Yeah, that's right. You still have the um, lift section at the end. Yeah, I guess it's, it's not too... There's not too much difference in that respect. Yeah, I was just thinking about that tower where you have to go. You have to go to the top and flick, flick the lever, and then you have to make your way to the bottom. Yeah, that bit is a bit of a pain in the ass. But I don't think that ver there's no version like that in this one. They've completely taken that bit out. Yeah, so this guy will still be. Um, if you've not killed him already, he'll still be trying to um, summon the spiked balls. But if you shoot a rocket at him, you can sort of kill him early. There you go. And he won't be able to summon any. And then straight away, just drop down here and trigger the lift, guys. This is perhaps the easiest way to get this trophy, actually. You know the trophy for getting to the top of this lift. Um, without letting anybody jump on. So yeah, you can just keep killing them with a the rocket. And with the rocket, of course, you don't actually have to hit your target. As long as the blast damages them, it should kill them. Yeah, they normally spawn from... Um, they'll normally try to run off sort of two balconies at a time and you can normally stand in the corner so you've got two balconies in view and then once one balcony gets sort of near the level of your lift you can move the corner and watch the next two balconies because they only jump from our balconies which are quite a bit higher than the lift obviously make sure you kill the um, the red sea lots as well otherwise they'll spawn parasites that one, I don't know how he got away. I shot a rocket at him and it didn't kill him. I guess that's where he runs away to. Yeah, so I actually see it's probably the easiest way to do is probably with the infinite rocket launcher. One hour thirty so far. Not left to do. Not left to do, guys. To do the um, island. Very quick. Go through this on the infinite rocket launcher. Just make sure you walk along here. And then you can kill Salazar instantly with your rockets. Yeah, I like to loot them barrels because there's loads of loot in them. Yep, just shoot some rockets at him. That's it. One hit, one kill. Pick up the lipstick. Leon likes a little bit of lip balm. Especially with two splendid bangles on his ankles. And the chicken head. Yep, and then down the elevator. We've got a date with Ada. Louis will not be Louis wouldn't be pleased, but he's not around to see. Yeah, I think Louis was a bit jealous of her Leon and Ada's. Little romantic chemistry between them.
Bowser. Where do you think you're taking her? <clears throat> Let him go. Let him go. Do not shoot Rocket. We'll catch up to him. And here we go, guys. So the island comes next. Perfect. Won't have to swim after all. Yeah, so the island will be running through it pretty quickly, just rock launching any enemies in our way. We're not going to bother just killing everyone. We're going to pretty much just sprint through the area. Um, if you do take too much damage, you can just um, reload your auto save, guys, and run it again. But yeah, I'm just going to try and get through this really quickly. And um, there's something else I just wanted to mention. Oh yeah, <laughs> sorry for the pause, I was trying to think. I almost forgot what I wanted to mention. Yeah, so you know, I mentioned it earlier, and um, if any of you have seen any of my posts around the net, I've been mentioning about the two playthrough Platinum. I kind of think it is impossible. I think you have got to do two playthroughs, but also a partial playthrough at least, just to get enough to buy Infinite Rocket Launcher. Damn it. From my own experience, I think even with the expanded DLC treasure, you only get enough to buy the rocket launcher. You get enough, you get about 1.8 in one playthrough. I think that's the maximum you can get. Unless, of course, you've got the upgrade tickets from the DLC, but I'm thinking about not using them. I'm talking about not using them at all, obviously, because you've got to pay extra. I'm just talking about what you get when you buy the actual game itself. Yeah, so if you go for two playthrough platinum, Obviously, you do playthrough one would be no merchant, pistol slash knife only, no healing, hundred percent. Yeah, it would, it would be pretty crazy. Obviously, because it's your first new game, you'd be no up, no upgrades on your pistol. We'd also be doing pistol only and no merchant. It'd be pretty mad. Yep, and then your second one would be professional, and I guess you would. Perhaps use the hand cannon, which you unlock from mercenaries. And then from there, all you would need to do then is to buy the rocket launcher. But you need two million to do so. So you would, like I say, you would need to do a partial playthrough to get enough. Um, so you would at least need to get up to chapter two. Uh, but you probably wouldn't have enough money by then. Little sucker hit me with that bloody axe. There's a rocket launcher up there, but somehow I got hit by the axe, not the rocket. Kind of embarrassing, but then, uh, then again, I am wearing a chicken head. So um, it probably looks normal. It's a normal occurrence for me. This is where they're keeping Ashley? Yeah, I bet you'd probably still up to get. You probably still need to get up to about chapter three or four, just to get enough money to um buy the rocket launcher so yeah it is kind of impossible to do it in two playthroughs as it stands just because you wouldn't have enough money to buy the rocket launcher and I think I think if you were doing um, new game no merchant pistol knife only obviously you wouldn't be selling everything you'd have a mega small inventory space for the whole game so you might not even get that much because you wouldn't be selling all your excess materials you've got along the way, would you? You'd be sort of discarding them all. I mean, you you would keep all your red, yellow, green herbs. You'd keep all them on you. You'd have to sort of, you know, hoard them. But you wouldn't be able to sell like excess ammo and hand grenades and things like that just because you wouldn't have enough to craft them. You wouldn't be able to craft flash grenades or anything like that.
Yeah, because you haven't you haven't been able to buy the recipes. I think it'd be mega mega hard. Yeah, and I think you you wouldn't end up with you wouldn't end up with a lot of money at all. I mean, you got your treasures. Yeah, I think it'd be quite a hard playthrough to do. But yeah, I don't think I'll be doing it. I'm not going to um I'm not going to sacrifice myself by trying to do that. Yeah, I would see that as a sort of sacrifice. Yeah, sacrifice my enjoyment. Maybe it would be enjoyable, but yeah, that'd be, that'd be a crazy challenge. And it wouldn't be helpful to anyone, I don't think. It'd be more sort of showing off. Yeah, probably going to leave it. So, um, yeah, I'm just switching the power. Converting it over to the east. And we're going to come in here. We're going to grab the key card. You can kill a regenerator really easily now with the rocket launcher. Just one blast and they're toast. Yep, the code for this, guys. I'll just mention these to you. So we're on assisted. The code for that first one is 320. Turn number one three times, number two two times, and do not touch the third one. There you go. Just rocket launcher, and he is dead. Then come back down here, flip the switch so power goes back over to the west. Yep, and then head over to the freezer. And place a keycard in to get keycard level 2. Place it in the little converter thing to process it. Thank you for your patience. Patience, why are you you're waiting? Say hello to our newest enemy type, the regenerator. Shit, again. Yep, just kill him instantly with a rocket. And why are you waiting? If you want to come in here and get a treasure, you've got nothing better to do. The code for this is 2233. Three. So number one, two, number two, two times, number three, three times, and number four, three times. Two, two, three, three. Double two, double three. Yeah, yeah, big gold bar inside large. Basically in place of the weapon from earlier. I think you see LE5. And a crate to smash. And again, thank you for your patience. Thank you. Yep, obtained level two key card. I've got lost. I don't know how, but I'm a <laughs> bit... I got a bit disorientated there for some reason. I think the cold was getting to me. My nipples were cold. And that can affect your balance. Yeah, there'll be two enemies down the bottom here, if you remember. And one guy in the next room, in here. Yeah, that guy. And um, you can kill these guys really fast. So one of these has got a wrench. I'm not sure who. I'm just going to keep shooting them. Leon, you absolute donut. Oh, look at this. Oh, they're hugging themselves. Yep, they, they do that. Hug themselves. So yeah, I'm just... Yeah, I'm just firing at will here. One of them must drop the wrench, surely. Somehow, he's got no brain left, but he still managed to attack me. There we go, got the wrench, so let's jump through the window, guys. Yep, I'm doing no healing, and I am in red. So this is one of them times when you just want to... Yeah, probably return your PS5. You should not be playing games at this point. Yeah, I should reload. I should reload my auto save, but um, I'm just going to recover back to um, caution health once this battle finishes. I shouldn't have got hit then. I was just obviously. Um, I'm losing concentration a little bit. I'm getting a bit too more, a bit too relaxed in my boots. 
Yeah, just because you're on EC and you've got the rocket launcher doesn't mean you can just slack off. You still need to watch the enemies, or otherwise that can happen. Right, while we're back in caution, we're good to go. I can't heal, but um, not many chapters left. I'm sure I can manage. You might see me limping through a few of the upcoming encounters. But this is what I mean. Even on even with infinite rocket launcher, it can still be difficult to do no healing. And there we go, that's Rescue Ashley. That's chapter fourteen uh, no chapter thirteen good done guys. We've got fourteen, fifteen and sixteen remaining. Yeah, so um, chapter 15, guys. Uh, 14, sorry. Keep getting these names mixed up. Yeah, this is chapter 14. So we've got a Krauser fight at the end of this one. So you're likely going to take a bit of damage on that one, maybe. Yeah, the Wrecking Ball section here. Quite easy with the rocket launcher because you can just shoot the wall with the rocket launcher. And it weakens it so that Ashley can destroy it with a one whack. Anybody watching this, by the way, um, who are waiting for my Witcher 3 for me to resume the Witcher 3 Blood and Wine. I actually got a part recorded yesterday. So, yeah, I have made a start back on that. Yeah, I got a part recorded for it yesterday. So, yeah, once my videos have finish going up for this we should be straight back on to the Witcher 3 guys so just one rocket down there should kill all them four enemies down below then get Ashley to operate the lever oh I missed one but Ashley's got the armor on of course so um, I'm not going to go and rescue her I'm just going to open the shortcut door so she can come through and let her make her own way there you go, she's a big girl, she can make her way to me herself. So I'm just going to come up here, there's that guy at the top there normally lobs them at you. You have a few come around this corner, just lob a rocket, shoot, kill them more quickly, or not. I don't think I killed any there with my rocket. But you want to come in here as soon as you can, they shouldn't follow you through here, I don't think they like to get their feet wet. So just come in here, and um, I'll pray this. But if you're too quick, yeah. you're going to have to wait for Ashley. Yeah. I thought that, thought that was a then, it's that mouse running along the top. I thought about shooting these rats before running around the game. Could they drop something? No, surely not. So I left him. With me. Yeah, where is she? She takes absolutely ages to catch up to you. you okay? Finally, yeah. here she is. Me, no. Look what the cat dragged in. Ashley Graham. At the same time. It's so, this is so slow compared to professional. I can't believe it. Remember over here, the um, regenerator drops in the um, super regenerator. Not well, not a super one. We reserve the super one for the request. Basically, the one which is a bit stronger, the upgraded type. Yes, shoot him, but make sure you get out of the way when he's about to explode. Otherwise, the spikes might. Um, Sticking you, the needles. Oh, he's not even dead. Stupid. Yep. Almost died. Make sure you do kill him. I don't know how he didn't die. Pathetic, really. Jesus, cuddly bastard. There you go. At the same time, Ashley. You're not hurt, are you? No, I'm good. No. Yes. Look at that teamwork. Just do not mention the word teamwork next to Ashley Graham. She gets too excited. Get this for me. She'll go wobbly at the knees. Oh yeah, she's good at turning a valve. Congratulations, Ashley Graham. Let's craft a few more flash grenades. Why not?
ornate. I think that's the ornate necklace in that case if you want it. Second best selling item after the or um, elegant crown. Sorry. There you go. Convert power back to that final terminal. Yeah, the code for this final terminal, guys, is triple three two. So to number one three times, number two three times, number three three times, and number four twice. Yeah, they will catch up to her. Ashley, damn it. We can just save her bottom by shooting them with a rocket. That's it. They'll interact with this. Like I say, it's three, 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 two. And then press the confirm button. That should open the gate. Access to the door has been restored. Kill any more enemies which chase after you. Even more pest control. I actually completed that by mistake. Not by mistake, but unintentionally. Obviously, my rocket killed a rat. Poor little guys. Right, the wrecking ball section. Shut up, Gary. Again, just ignore you. Your prices are far too high. I've had enough. I'm going to shop elsewhere. See if I can buy what I need from Tesco. Yeah, so shoot the wall. That will damage it. And then the wrecking ball should kill it in one hit, guys. If Ashley moves the bulldozer. Hurry up. There you go. Once destroyed, head on through and activate the elevator straight away. Right, come on, Ashley. Let's carry on. Yeah, put, press the button, some of the elevator. No, not you. There's only space for two of us on the elevator, mate. You have to stay down here below in pieces. That's it. Awesome. Yeah, <laughs> she always wanted to be a farmer, this old Ashley Graham. In a combine harvester. Don't think. We work well together, don't we? No, we do not. I guess so. Do not, Leon, do not. Maybe someday I'll become Do not give in to the bait. What do you think? We could protect the you do know she's underage, right? I don't even know what age she is. Well, either way, first we have to make it out of here. <laughs> You're no fun. Right, in here, all we need to do is interact with a massive amber crystal. That one there. Oh, what's this sparkly thing? Sadler, you bastard. And Sadler will take Ashley. So we're just going to make way to the end now and trigger the Krauser battle. There'll be a few enemies out here waiting for you. Make way through the research tents. I think that's what they are. Follow the trail of blood. Shut up, Gary. you got to give him credit for trying. He really wants me to buy something from him. Yeah, so you got a rocket launcher. Need I say more? Just keep shooting rockets at him. Who knows what's become of the girl? You best not have hurt her, Krauser. Or else. Watch out for trip wire. Go with your gut, don't think. Yeah, don't think. Leon. Oh yeah, this guy. If you yeah, if you destroy that trip wire too early, he comes from around the corner. Yeah, luckily Leon doesn't have that problem when it comes to don't think. 
because he basically already does that. Yep, it'll normally appear on that ledge just there. Once you move forward enough, be ready to shoot him. Watch out for that bear trap. There's a trip wire there. You can shoot a rocket at the turret. A trip wire around the corner here, but I've already destroyed it. Carry on through here. There's a bear trap. Careful. And the turret. And do not run ahead because there's going to be a... Um, yep, yeah, a bomb around the corner like so. So just be careful. Stop before the end so Kraus can uh, shoot his explosive arrow. And it can explode out of your danger. He'll spawn over there in a second once you get to the bottom of the steps. So just wait for him to fire his arrow. There you go. And then you can run up. He'll spawn at the top here. Try to shoot a rocket quickly and that should make him retreat. He should spawn straight over there. Oh, it looks like I already hit him with a rocket and scared him away. I think that's when he appeared the first time. And he shot the, the um, explosive arrow at the steps. Yeah, once you get closer to the way, he'll drop two grenades. So just make sure you don't sprint up the steps and you wait for them to land. Explode. And they can run past. So here, he's going to shoot you. Yep, it's going to lob a rocket at him. Don't know why that's having no effect. There you go, 10 rockets later, and he finally runs away. Yeah, so he normally spawns around the corner, but as you can see, if you lob a rocket so just before he appears, it should damage him and scare him away. This no healing is stupid on this, really. I mean, it's so hard not to take damage. Yeah, it's normally evading there, but if you damage him beforehand, he won't jump down. So, if you remember, on this very last part, Straight away, hold hold down so that you run towards the camera. Then as soon as he's landed, turn around and shoot him. You don't even really need to turn around. You should already be facing him. Are you ready, yeah, so what I was trying to do is try and show you that straight away, if you aim up, you can shoot him as he's jumping towards you. But as you can see, it can be a bit tricky. And you're best off doing it the way we did it in professional. Where straight away, like I said, hold down so you run straight towards the camera. And that way you'll, he'll, you'll avoid his attack. And then while he's recovering, you can just hold L2 to aim. Because because the camera's already looking at him, because you ran towards the camera, you'll aim straight at him and you can quickly shoot him. You don't really have to re-aim that much. And you can kill him really quickly. So yeah, probably best to do it that way, guys run away first and then shoot rather than just try to straight away aim upwards because if you do miss him you're likely going to get hit in chapter 15 not long left we'll get through this bit really quickly you'll see if you kill it just if you just focus on killing the enemies as soon as you can the helicopter should destroy the barricade a lot quicker I think this is all determined about how many enemies he killed. Maybe it's how much time has passed as well. Maybe it's the first one. You know, maybe it's after a certain time. Um, but killing the enemies obviously speeds it up, I guess, perhaps. Similar to how the cabin and the village work. Yep. He's immune to rockets, so I'll go straight through him. I think it's because he's got his windows open, so my rockets are actually going through the side and coming out the other side, luckily. Because we need him. Yeah, so just shoot these guys straight away. There's no need for me to loot them. Yeah, just blast them to pieces. There'll be fragments all over the shop. Little tiny brain pieces scattered about. But luckily, there won't be many brain pieces. It's mainly just flesh. And that's plagas. You'll find... Right, barricade is destroyed that quick. Yeah, like I say, it's as soon as... Destroy the enemies as soon as possible. And yet, you can't destroy that watchtower yourself. So just wait down here for a uh, Mike to destroy this watchtower. Oh, I'll just do that, I guess. Destroy the enemies yourself. 
and then he can destroy the watchtower later. Make him feel like he's helping. Yeah, watch out for dynamite enemies at the top. Make sure you kill them before you climb up. Otherwise, you might climb up right into a piece of dynamite. Up here, we're going to use a rocket to destroy the anti-aircraft gun. The rocket launcher. There you go. Once you destroyed it, just jump down now and um, head straight towards the shutter door. And might should destroy that. Give him a second or two. There you go. Now in this bit you can start lobbing some flash grenades if you want to. Because the enemies will be pretty much all over the place. And you might be best um, using your flash grenades as opposed to trying to shoot everybody with your rocket launcher. I can't believe I've still got body armor left. So I'm just aiming towards the turret. And this turret over here as well. But I'm going to lob a flashback. There you go, then I can rocket him. I can rocket these few down here. There's a guy at the back on top of catwalk with a rocket launcher. That's the laser sight, so just be careful with that. At this point, that's probably going to instant kill me. Once you pull this first lever, a pig guy with a Gatling gun arm will appear on the opposite side. Yeah, then I'm just going to climb up here and make my way to the final lever. There might be a few guys waiting for you, so just be ready to shoot them. There you go, or, or they're just going to shoot you in your back as you run towards the second lever. There you go, kill the pig guy. Bit of a dramatic death there. Yeah, but... Um, yeah, once you pull them both, just drop down and uh, go through the exit, guys. Very quick to do with infinite ammo on the rocket launcher. There was a glitch that they that a lot of guys found to get infinite ammo on the normal rocket launcher. It's, I think it's since been patched. Um, but yeah, pretty pretty crazy glitch getting infinite ammo on the normal rocket launcher. I think there's a, there's a way to um, you change weapons really fast when you get damage or something, and it makes it so you keep the weapon which you had out before the weapon swap, but you actually trigger the ammo quantity from the weapon you swap to so in a way if you've got a rocket launcher and you try to swap to the pistol you'd have the rocket launcher still but you'd be using the ammo from the pistol and yeah a bit of a weird glitch I found but yeah straight after that straight after Mike crashes you can lob a flashbang if you want to just to stun them few flies which instantly spawn around you and then you've got no worry about getting damaged. In here, you want to make sure you destroy these crates over here. Yeah, I don't know why I did that. Yeah, you don't really need to kill him. Now I'm going to have to dodge him when he explodes and get rid of him. Yeah, just wasting time at this point. Yeah, so around that stretch here, you want to make sure you destroy them crates. Otherwise, when you go to run around it, they may hold your path for a few seconds while you destroy them so yeah pull the valve run back guys like I say make sure you destroy them crates otherwise this happens yeah you get stuck but luckily I just got through still right through here and almost at the end of chapter 15 yeah you got a chameleon there you got a few guys up above with their bolts I'm gonna just gonna sprint through here there's two chameleons just out here, outside, hiding behind the walls. Yeah, there's one chameleon inside there. There's one on the top, but looks like I'm going to leave him. Rocket launcher guy up there. All I'm going to do is head into that building behind the rocket launcher guy. Because that's where the um, controls are to move the turret. And I don't, I don't do the skip where you can sort of get an enemy to... Um, knock you through the turret and the enemy gets attacked instead yeah but I, I don't really bother with them at all not even i don't do it on no healing but yeah this pig guy will come through this door just make sure you're ready to kill him he's got a gatling gun up here so once you don't um, destroy the red barrel 
by accident if you're too close to it if you rock it yep and then press button on the turret to move it out of the way and then go back down guys and head up to Ashley once we get to Ashley I think I'm going to cut out the part where you're slowly moving with her again just to save a few minutes right yeah over here some flies will spawn so make sure you're um, just on the lookout for them yeah three Navistadors spawn I think it's three but as long as you're quick and you're on the move you should avoid them Yeah, so grab Ashley guys and then slowly make your way to the medical chair and place her on it. Like I said, I'm just going to cut this bit out. Here we go guys, pretty much done. There's like five minutes left. Yeah, so all I'll be doing after this will be a assisted 100% S plus rank. I think I do it in about 3 hours 50. So it is a little bit tight, but it's on assisted so it's not really that difficult. Um, I wasn't originally doing it. I think I was I was doing 100 to begin with, and um, then I think I got about halfway, and I was like, yeah. "Let's do S, let's try and do S plus in this one, rather than you know doing 100 percent, and um, then doing S plus. 100 percent normally takes quite a while. It's normally quite hard doing 100 percent in under four hours, but I guess it is manageable, and I could have shaved off more time." Like I said, I didn't think about doing S plus on the 100% until I got about halfway through the game. And then, then you'll see me change my pace quite a bit. I start leaving everything. We've got infinite ammo. So I lit literally just sprint through the game once you get to the castle, avoiding everything. And yeah, we make it about 3 hours 50, guys. And that's 100%. And um, so all that I don't do, I don't do the shooting range. That's all I don't. I do make a save there. sure she's fine. But I don't do the shooter range there. So we get like, I think it's 28 trophies in like 3 hours, 3 hours 50. Um, but yeah, I just make a save at the shooting range just so you can go back and do that later. So yeah, once you get here, you want to make a save at the merchant. Just in case you need to reload before the end for any reason later at the merchant. In a case, for, you know, any case you want to prepare your builds. Um, ready for a no merchant run on the next one. I'm not going to because I know I don't need to for anything But I probably should have I think it's just a good idea for no matter the reason because you never know but Yeah, one rocket launcher should kill him after he drops down and the cutscene begins And then kill this guy with a rocket launcher And then all you need to do guys is escape on the jet ski Yeah, so that's another one done. One more playthrough left. The assisted S plus 100%. It will be good for those um, those of you that want to follow it for your first playthrough. You know, so it's just it's a bit quicker than my first one on the platinum, and um, but I also use infinite ammo on it. When I do my when I do the full complete platinum video I'll probably mention it in the intro just say so that I have got a extra assisted run where I use infinite ammo if you want to follow that instead of this one where we don't use it rocket launcher is still a better idea for some of the boss strategies yeah because you'll still kill some of the bosses like instantly as long as you've got a rocket launcher and it only costs 50,000 of course. Yep, so jet ski, let's do it. Yeah, one more playthrough left guys, and I think yeah, I think I'll be hanging up my uh my videos for Resident Evil 4, I think. I don't think I'm gonna do any more. Not unless they I'll probably do the DLC of course when that comes out, if they do release um a Simon Adder, or is it separate ways, whichever. If they do release one of them, I'll likely cover them. Um, but until then, or unless I release a unlockable DLC, which unlocks professional from the start, which would be nice. Yeah, if there's ever a DLC which unlocks professional from the start, then you should be able to complete the game in two playthroughs very easily. 
because you do professional first and you can do new game plus from that professional so that you'll easily get your 2 million for the rocket launcher that way you'll just do professional normally like I do it uh, but your new game plus would be um, pistol only no merchants, no healing and uh, you'll buy all the weapons at the end of it you'd probably do the shooting range I don't know, you'd probably do a shooting range in professional but I don't know but yeah we'll see, I'm not sure if they're going to unlock um, release a unlockables DLC just because they've released the DLC ticket so we'll see about that but yeah that's it guys infinite ammo, infinite rocket launcher no healing probably the easiest way to do it, use some body armour and the chicken head as well and the Ashley armour no merchant of course as well yep that's it guys 2 hours 04 assisted that's S rank impeccable. because it's a new game plus so another one in the bag just for those of you that wanted that misc guide on no healing so yeah thank you for watching guys and I see you in the next one